ับไพ่ฟีมังเอ PLS. Came for the politics, stayed for the RP.
can't believe it's been more than a month already. Catch this brick. Whoosh. Nine months pop. What's going on, everybody? I hope everyone's having a fantastic evening, afternoon, pre noon. I guess there's not really any opportunity for a pre nooner. Any pre nooners in the chat, no matter where you are in the world, I'm a song piker, and this is awesome. I'm a broadcast coming to you live. From sunny California, Los Angeles, folks, we are live and alive. Yes, I did take a shower. Why is pre noon? Okay, well, Unfocus. it is. Oh boy, it is Wednesday, April 21st, 2021, and it's partly cloudy here in Los Angeles, California, as you probably already know. Been here for three uh, if you were watching, or if you were watching the. Uh, to fit it into my schedule more often when I can. If you were watching uh, the, the Jake and Big live stream, um, I don't know if I'm sunburned. Boys, I I don't know if I'm sunburned right now, but uh, I just I don't know if it, that's because I'm sunburned or because I was just like breathing so heavy. Anyway, regardless, though, we are live and alive, boys. Okay, I uh, hope everyone's having a fantastic day. You already know. Uh, you already know what happened. Didn't use the sunscreen gifts you got? I didn't because it was so cloudy, dude. I didn't think that I would get sunburned because I was like, there's so much fucking cloud. You know what I'm saying? Having like, why would I... Never been so I was thinking to myself, why would I so use uh, sunscreen when it's just all cloudy all the way? Clouds don't block UV. Sun doesn't work like that, unfortunately. I mean, I just didn't think when it's overcast that you're actually going to get tan. Am I crazy for thinking this? This is not a crazy thought. Come on. Even if it's a stupid one, I'm sure you guys have thought the same, right? Huh. No, it's worse when it's overcast. I don't know. Dang UV plugger. don't care. It's not crazy, but it's wrong. Okay, it's one of those common sense things that's just wrong, I guess. It's a learning experience, okay? Hey, dude. Nice to know that we've been chilling for four months now. It's fucking awesome knowing that I can enjoy more of your amazing content from your very own BDSM dungeon. 
anyway regardless uh we are live and i am fucking tomato andy okay i'm sorry i'm sorry that i am not a sun scientist dude hello i didn't realize that i had cultivated a community of scientists of the sun i didn't realize that everyone in here was literally phds in sunology okay i don't understand i'm a sun scientist sir why are you not talking about the sun more that's you that's what you sound like we nine months of basically well, you didn't know you could get a sunburn on a cloudy day yeah i i didn't know that okay i did not know that i'm tweeting it right now did everyone know that you okay. can get sun burnt on a cloudy day or is my chat messing with just me just taking the day off smh house the time he's been hooping today is going to in the, the spreadsheet What's solar science you mean hope everyone's having a good evening afternoon pre noon wherever you are in the world my name is Hussain. everyone knows use spf regardless of the weather wait really you're like literally supposed to use okay dude you guys are fucking with me you're supposed to use suntan every moment you go outside like really like no matter what call zach he's crying white people sad. for sunscreen whatever the fuck it's called Yo, that skincare nerd's molding. It's just like I, I'm seeing. You know what I'm seeing a lot right now? I'm seeing a lot of uh, dermatologists in the chat. If you're outside for hours, yes. If you're outside for hours, the blood of the tomato town on your face. Yeah, even in the winter. As a white man, I can say this is true about the sunscreen. Okay, yes, it blocks UV rays even on cloudy days. Want a real mind fuck? You need sunscreen indoors to the windows, energy. mirrors, etc. Okay, uh, shut up. That's crazy. Okay, guys, stop trolling me with all this cream shit. I'm never going to use it, okay? Listen, 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 listen. Uh, I'll, I'll use cream a little bit, like, on my face, but... Not an overcast. You definitely can get fucked up because you don't realize you're hitting the sun. Okay. 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 Guys. 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 Okay. Listen. Listen. We we played a little bit of basketball. Okay. Uh, some of you know this already. Some of you don't. But I was um was playing a little bit of b-ball with. Thanks for making. Just playing a little bit of b-ball with Jake and Bake live Hassel. with the uh, John Cash app with Willard Neff. There's a lot to talk about. I I, I had uh, I had a bunch of stuff happen uh, between yesterday's stream, where we had a pretty solid news. What happened with Noel? I I texted him this morning. He didn't respond. He he originally was like super into the idea. So I thought that he was gonna be down, and I thought that he was gonna play with us. But um, I texted him earlier this morning, and he did not reply. So I don't know what's going on. There. I don't know what's going on there, boys. Uh, anyway. But. Haslex 18. He uploaded a video about face sitting. You want some right wing copium after? Can't believe it's been nine months. Almost anyway, your T offends me as an Irish Let's person, go. but your beard arouses me. Okay, good. Uh, anyway, it's a common sense thing. It's like how I thought you'd be good at basketball, but nothing is what it seems, Puggo. You know, I got an argument with the Chicago PD simp over what happened in Columbus, Ohio. Immediately called me Ed Sheeran instead of responding to what I said. What? Finally got my new fish. Keep it up. Okay. Seems like a seems like just 
All right, cool. I, I don't understand what I'm supposed to get out of that, but anyway. Uh, okay. Are we back? Are we back to this? It's happening again. It's happening again. It's happening again. Christ, I hate this dude. All right. Uh, personal news. Okay. Yesterday we did the uh, Uno uh, tournament at the Cash App. At the Cash App fucking uh, compound. Did you get to I meet Matt Pat yesterday? Now. No. Six months. I feel so kind of weird when months. I uh, when I'm around other uh, streamers and YouTubers and shit. I watched some of his videos. Three months strong compadres. I watched some of Cash App. I'm um, Cash Apps. I've watched some of Matt Pat's videos. So I I was uh, I was gonna you know I was gonna walk up to him and be like Yo what's up dude. I'm a fan of your shit, dude. That's but that's just a theory. A game theory. Or is that is that how you say it? I don't know. But like I didn't want to do that. You know what I mean? We ball and people has we ball and people has we ball and people has we ball and people has. Is that a people Haas moment? But that's just a theory. Did you meet Cash Nasty? No. Dude, I didn't fucking talk to anyone, dude. I, I literally was... uh, Guys, while everyone was doing, like, fun shit, you were here. You know what I was doing. You watched me. I was in the compound, in the, the furthest the room, in the back, streaming... While everyone else was like, yo, we're doing like fucking freestyle rap or hey, we're going to be doing fun stuff. I was literally in the back by myself. So you know what was going on. You know, I didn't get to meet uh, any of the fucking people. I was hiding in the fucking closet, hiding in the stream closet. Has woke, has woke, has at the woke, corner woke, of the woke, party, woke, also, like also, while also. all the cool kids are fucking partying and shit and like. Nisha, I was like, Hassan is streaming right now? Yeah, it, they, they didn't even know. I was like in the fucking back. I was in the back in the stream closet, dude. It's heliology. I'm still dead at Austin getting wasted off of two trulies. Yeah. Bro, you are the cool kid. You have 100k plus. Nah, to realize you cool. say NBs and not NBs. Buzz, buzz. Listen, I don't think my view count uh, matters like that. Six months giving Bezos money to my stream. Um. Anyway, I did not 420, but uh. So basically what ended up happening. Oh, thank you to There's a lot of fucking stuff to go through, but, um, Oh brother, there's going to be a lot of fucking news to go through. I think the sun may ratioing well. Shabibo and Crowder in less than four minutes is cool. Now. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. Um, anyway, I was doing that. I didn't have an opportunity to do 420, but, uh, I did get to hang out with, uh, Austin afterwards. And that was kind of fun. Chat was mostly you fans and Carl fans. I love Carl, dude. He's so fucking nice. I'm actually, a, I'm a fucking Carl Jacob stan, dude. There you go. I said it. I'm a fucking Carl Jacobs fan. Um. But uh, Botas just showed up with real squad energy. Yeah, that was great. You had almost 80,000 at one point. And you killed it. What do you mean? I had 100,000 people watch the verdict. The sad. Chat. Love the sun. Chatter. Apparently, Tucker Carlson listed himself as a member of the Dan White Society. Here's what I learned about you. When something historical happens, you are the person people want to share it with. This is the community that people want to see uh, uh, political news coverage through. Yes. We are going to talk about the 16 year old who got shot. Did you get to hang with Ludwig? No. Um, he, uh, 
he was uh have a good he, he was like on his way out <sighs> the game was lame let's be honest not really i mean i morning sunshine dude uno is great for me because i have no discernible skills right like i am not a skilled gamer i'm not good at like sniping shit i'm not good at anything so for me for me it was like uh uno is is uh, perfect it's like mostly rng except courage was just like the rng god yesterday and just fucking ripped us dude here are some clips from yesterday's uh thing this is personal news but it's also clips they say who are you i said i'm the host and they said oh no no only talent i said wait no but i'm he thought you meant like the server host yeah like, like the host like the host is happened to me as well by the way the i can't believe something. my toyota camry was fucking disrespected hard body yesterday i'm gonna be honest with you it was fucking bullshit okay the toyota camry pulls up to the fucking hundred thieves cash app compound and the security guard is like what the fuck are you doing and he just looks at me like what, what's going on and uh you know i'm like what's up can i uh like can i park in here he's like well you're here for the event i'm like yeah What is this? Matt Pat. Had a lot of fun at the cash up compound, but I saw a guy with a really tiny head, so I had to hide and hang out with Ludwig Keck W. Hey, Arjun. Pogo done at wall, Pogo. Bro, I saw your Camry for the first time in Noel Miller's video. You weren't lying. I don't know why people think I'm lying about my vehicle. Anyway, listen, that's not real. This is not a real tweet. Shut up, chat. It's not a real tweet. Is it only talent? I said, no, no, I, but I'm like a part of the broadcast. And the then they finally let me in. You, you know, Will's not getting in either in the same way. Like yeah. they're probably gonna be like, no, no, no. no you park on the street. Asshole. Get the fuck out of here. You poor. God, well, what, what does Will drive? He drives like a Buick. <laughs> but he doesn't have a nice car either. <laughs> That's all right. It's he okay. drives a Buick that literally doesn't have a side mirror. <laughs> he does not. He has not had a side mirror for, I believe, four years. You don't need a Mr. side mirror Sherman, in LA. <laughs> oh, oh there. Oh my God. Oh, yes. Never mind. They definitely let him in easy. Yeah. <laughs> they definitely let him in easy. Never mind. Did you, yeah. Did they give you problems at the door at all? No. <laughs> Why would they? You're literally royalty, dude. Uh, why was Will wearing that costume? I watched it yesterday. I was at, off a of brownie at the park. My friends, I was so confused. Uh, cause it's fucking Will, dude. Will being Will, of course. Look great today. It's just uh, Will being Will. Yeah, they but they didn't let me into the parking lot because. Is that they didn't let me into the parking lot because I was fucking, you know, I was in the Camry. They were like, this car is too sick. Everyone else is going to be jealous. XQC can't stop staring. What is this? Need a side mirror in LA. <laughs> oh, there. Oh, my oh, God. Okay. Wow. Never mind. They definitely let him in easy. You can see the package. Yeah. What the fuck is they that? They definitely no, let him in wait. easy. Never mind. What? It did. Yeah. 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 Any problems at the door at all? No. Let him in easy. Damn, he's Myron, dude. That's a cock check right Four there. Years. You don't need a Mr. side mirror in LA. <laughs> oh, there. Oh. Wait, wait, I'm looking. It, it, it's highlighted, dude. Are you kidding me? Oh, I, uh, dude, the, dude, I'm not going to make this weird, but it's it's packaged. Oh, yes. Never mind. They definitely let him in easy. Yeah. They definitely let him in. need a side Mr. mirror in LA. <laughs> Look at him trying to justify looking at some, People looking at a little bit of man meat, dude. Come on, brother. It's fine. Will is extreme theater kid energy 100%. He is a born theater kid. I mean, he's been, he was born for this. There was another clip, I think. Oh, here. The fucking tournament, the ultimately, first... we lost. We lost. We were like leading, going into the final round, going into the final fucking game. We had, we were up by six points, and then we got absolutely fucking destroyed, dude. Absolutely fucking destroyed. Like, straight up. 
read the clip title? Please, it's been a Just year. Just the crumb of 90 day. Please, Mr. Piker, please. Thunder, please wide people sad. This round, in the second round, and then all of a sudden we got cooked. All I'm going to say is it was rigged. If you call, if we, we are the real qualifiers, okay? If you count the rounds that we won and you don't count the rounds that we lost, we are the ones who actually won, okay? Unjustifiably in a position yeah. I don't deserve to be in. This event was rigged. You all saw it. All 100 Thieves members made it through. I don't think so. You know what's funny? He sounds like... So he's trying to do Macho Man Randy Savage, right? But he sounds literally like Mike Lindell. Because Mike Lindell is also from has the, has the that seven same, by like, he, he sounds like Jesse Ventura. He sounds like Jesse Ventura. Okay. I know he, he wanted to do Macho Man. He wanted to do Macho Man. Man. It turned into Jesse Ventura. And Jesse Ventura literally sounds like Mike Lindell because they're from that area. Like they have that very distinct. What is it like Minnesota? It's like the fucking. It's like the Great Lakes accent. I don't know how else to describe it. Was Pokemon or Valkyrie there? Valkyrie was there. But Pokimane wasn't. Valkyrie was there with Bella Porch. Eight months, let's go. So as I see it, there is only one solution. Oh, I'm coming line. back next year and I'm kicking ass. It's a fucking conspiracy. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen. To me. Listen. No. No. I'm losing control. I told him to give me Courage's deck the one round. Courage had two cards in three moves. No he wouldn't do it. He wouldn't do it. Row, um, let's go. I've lost control of the room here. In the first. Yeah, that was really, that was great. Um, Glad to be here. The shatter backboards, drip, drip, drip. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Yeah, it's the Fargo accent. Exactly. Um, yeah, I hope uh, fucking Courage didn't think that we were being serious, but fuck him, dude. Hey, it's on site now, dude. Hey, Courage, if I see you in the streets, dude, it's on site. Anyway, let's keep going. 10 months, sheesh. Did anyone tell Austin how fucking hot he looked yesterday? Do straight up is a model. Dude, I'm serious. Be a contestant on 90 Day? No. People were being mean to Carl for no reason. What do you mean? Yeah, like in the months. chat or there at the event? Oh, in the chat? Wait, Lord why? Up today. Let's fucking go gamers. The 16 year old who got shot was literally pulling back the knife to go somebody right before the cop shot her. Bro, I literally don't even know the fucking details. Like, you're. You're. I, I don't know what happened. You're already like, uh. Pass boggies. Like, I, you're. You've. You. I, I find that rather strange. Like, dude. Motherfucker, what do you think? I'm in the Matrix, dude? In the chat, we were calling him Carl Marx and Carl uh, fans thought we were bullying. No, Carl is great. Look, I like all the, I like a lot of the, the Minecraft uh, kids. They're all like uh, very, they're all very, very nice. And they, they have like, they have the, uh, how do I describe it? They're like too nice. Anyway, um, I love the cash app chat and just came here because the entire chat was either hating on Carl or being cringe about loving him. Okay. I didn't, I don't know, man. I, I think everyone should dial it back. Okay. And, and the, the 15 year old that got shot, it, it, we're going to get to it. Um, Pogu. 
Sometimes they're just fucking weird, but we all are when we're that age, yeah. No one with brains is saying this shit the same as any shooting from uh, police officers. While I get why people jump to conclusions pre body cam footage, the body cam footage clearly shows the officer doing the right I thing. With my mom, Yo, um, no 15 year old deserves to get shot, but if they're literally fucking murdering someone, then yeah, like obviously the cop is supposed to fucking stop. Like, that is the one instance where you're like literally, as a police officer, supposed to stop people from doing that. You know what I mean? Like, you can't. You can't do a crime in front of... You can't fucking literally murder people in front of a cop, guys. I don't know if you know that. How did it feel being around and social with people? Was it weird at all? No, it was actually awesome. But I don't know what the uh, situation is. I don't know the situation, day, so I, I don't know. I have to look into it. Okay, sad. chill the fuck out. Um. So she called the cops herself because she was being jumped. Okay, we'll look at this in a little bit. Okay, just calm down. Calm down. You know what's really funny? Okay, hold on. I, I gotta fucking pause the music here for a second and just get real. Dudes in the chat will literally drop hints, okay, about what happened. And then when I respond, well, that sounds uh, crazy. Like, that's a, a cop should, you know, do that. Then that's they'll be like, oh, I can't believe you said that. And then they'll turn around and be like, well, why are you talking about it if you don't know what the situation is? Well, bitch, I said I don't want to talk about it until I fucking figure it out. But people keep literally spamming in the chat with details and it's catching my attention. Okay, so what do you want me to do? Fucking shut off the stream. Come back again. Stop it. Just stop it. We're going to get to the news. I don't know what happened. Okay. I am I'm sorry. Right. I am not omnipresent. I do not know everything that is going on at all times, especially when it comes to the fucking news. Okay. I am going to look at the, de at the details. At Hussein Abbey, you guys should start a stream. Oh my God. Compound. Oh my God. Please stop it. Please. Please. It's like one of the Say worst parts about this uh, uh, broadcast is like whenever wow. people are like, why are you doing this thing that I tried to bait you into doing or saw others clearly bait you into doing? Don't ask a stupid question. You know why I'm doing it. I'm doing what it because motherfuckers are baiting me into doing it. In okay, you see the chat just like I do. Like, why don't you know the thing that you said you don't have information on yet? Sorry. Small head, thank you. Okay, anyway, um, so before we get into that, though, I'm going to look at the Derek Chauvin situation first. Um, you should do a video on the Daniel Shaver video. I have done a video on the Daniel Shaver. I've done multiple videos on Daniel Shaver. Is there a reason why police don't shoot the leg or arm? Yes, because when you fucking shoot as a cop, you shoot to kill. There is no, like, shoot to maim. That's not a thing. Uh, can you confirm if these Turkish tropes are real for us? No. Uh, I'm not going to do that. Did you get a haircut? No. Okay. So, anyway, yesterday that, that happened, and we did that, and, you know, it was a lot of fun, the fucking Uno tournament. I had a lot of fun because I was around people. Um, it was It was really interesting because... It was really interesting because um, it was the first time that I've been around so many strangers. And obviously it's like incredibly safe. Like the way that they did it. Oh my God. We got tested one week out. We got tested one day before. We got tested the day of and a rapid test. On top of that, I also was like vaccinated to begin with. And I think I a lot of people are now getting vaccinated on top of that too. And there were masks on at all points, except for when you were on camera. So it's like, uh, it, it was insane. Like, and, and it was a very unique opportunity 13, where I 12, was able 13, to, 12. uh, where I was able to as safely as possible be around other human beings. And it was pretty good in the sense that, um, I like, I just remembered that 
I just remembered what it was like to be around other human beings, and it was fucking fun. I highly recommend it if you guys have a safe opportunity to do that. You know? You've never been to events or competitions since COVID? Like, PAX East was the last time I was around, like, massive, a massive amount of fucking random people. Uh, giant. I think people were going after Valky on Twitter because of the event. What, what is Valky? Is that, is that how you regard, is that how you, is Valkyrie? Is, you, you called this person Valky? What? Four months spoke. Valky, my little pog champ. Okay. You motherfuckers regard me as Hossy too? Like, do you just, is that how you call it? It's like how people call you Hossy? Oh, God. Okay. What's your TikTok? Anyway. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I'm sure that, like, I feel like. Eight months. I don't know how this happened. I don't know how this happened, but like somehow Valkyrie and like Carl Jacobs and like all the Minecraft stands and all of them, like their audience is like younger girls, right? For the most part, they have like a big younger girl audience and they are more woke than you guys. Like not woke with in the same, not woke in a positive way. I, I mean, like they are like hyper fucking uh, woke and I don't know how that happened. Like, we are supposed to be the most, like, uh, we're supposed to be the most woke audience on the internet. What the fuck? But they're, like, they're the ones that are, like, straight up. They're, like, oh, my God, I can't believe you did it. Yeah, they're overcorrective. Yes. The rad libs. They're just young Zoomers. I don't know. I don't, I, I, I'm, I'm, like, Sam just wanted to say it makes me happy today, to know that they're not, like, weird fucking racist psychos, right? And I feel like it makes me happy when I see that there is, like, a massive group of young uh, massive sexy? group of young people on the internet that are like very they're very much on the side of like empathy and trying to make things uh better for marginalized uh, communities but also at the same time i'm like what the fuck dude chill gave my prime to an ego while drunk my bad yeah they're the instagram story infographic generation Haven't a lot of us been through that stage, though? Yeah, I mean, I never really went through that stage. I went through. Isn't Ray like 28 or 29? She ain't a young Zoomer. Yeah, she's my age, no, but you were her audience kind of is dash. very young. My audience is mostly like 20, 20 plus uh, young males. Oh, Valkyrie's 24? I thought she was older. <sighs> she's 29. Oh, okay. Why are people being like, yo, she's 24. It doesn't matter how old she is. I thought she was my age. I'm 29. You know, I, I, I thought she was my age. That's so weird. Motherfuckers are like adamant, dude. The adamant, like, no, you're wrong. She's fucking, she's 24. Okay. Poggies. Anyway, um, demographic poll win. Pago, we're not doing that right now. A uh, uh, chat. I also have a tendency to get offended for groups and get angry for other groups. For instance, straight white guys getting Ask. mad for gays. Like what? 
Anyway, okay, let's keep going. Um, how badly did you want to just go home and talk about the trial yesterday, though? Of course, I, I did, obviously. But uh, I did want to, but uh, I couldn't. Like, there was no way. I, I had an obligation. I feel like it was it would be really fucked up if I just fucking bailed, you know, and been like, sorry. I know you guys like spent months and so much time and effort putting together this thing uh, that I was supposed to be a part of. But like, uh, fuck you, I'm leaving. And that would be really fucked up. Anyway, okay, so yeah, you guys already know. I'm going to get into the news right now. I'm going to tweet out that I'm live. I haven't even done that yet. I fucking forgot, but daycare is open late today because I was balling talking about the Chauvin. I might do the, the fucking pedophile guy's uh, case. I feel like that's a really interesting th thing or, or, you know, there is like a youtube guy who's like a fucking pedophile or something right allegedly no not not matt gates of edp like turn this six up anyway day cares about right the daycare's uh open late today because i was balling talking about the chauvin uh talking about the chauvin verdict another 15 year old shot Actually, hold on. We're talking about the Chauvin verdict. And conservatives who are Asshole. big mad about it. <sighs> she was 16, dude. Yo. By the way. I, I saw a thumbnail. This is kind of crazy to say, but like, I literally, okay, I'm going to say this. Fuck it. I'm saying it. I was so surprised to see a thumbnail where I thought it was Elizabeth Brunig, dude. I was like, why the fuck is Moist Critical looking at Elizabeth Brunig? I literally thought the girl... Liz Brunig, uh, uh, the ecumenical Marxist Liz Brunig, uh, New York Times commentator. She's dope. She's awesome. She's like uh, married to Matt Brunig for, of the PPP. Here, the American journalist Elizabeth Brunig, who is uh, who. How the fuck does my audience not know who Liz Brunig is? Um, this is. This is what she looks like. I literally thought it was her. I was like, what the fuck is going on? I was like, why the fuck? She's such a mom on Twitter. Yeah, she is a mom. I was like, why the fuck is Liz Brunig on like Moist Critical's stream right now earlier today? Yo. Bro, you know the details about this story, but you don't know the details about the shooting yesterday? Because I saw a thumbnail and I put two and two together from Instagram where I saw like, uh, where I saw, uh, uh things about this dude, EDP, and like Will was telling me about it. Dude, why are you getting mad at me for not knowing about like another fucking ma uh, another police shooting in America? Like, immediately as soon as it happens. Like, are you fucking brain dead, dude? You dumb, you fucking dumb idiot. Like, yeah, I know about this and I don't know about that. Okay, suck my dick. Fucking moron. What, what kind of entitled garbage is this, dude? Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Yes. It, it is actually mind boggling how much like how much ownership people think they have of me and my fucking brain space. Like. Motherfuckers are one step removed from like literally wearing my face and being me uh, sometimes. Bro, we live in America, okay? You understand that, right? You, you know the country that we live in? 
There's another fucking police brutality case every day. If I wanted to keep up with what was going on, I would go fucking insane. And I, quite free, quite frankly, I am kind of insane for keeping up with it as much as I do. Oh, are you a political commentator in the United States of America? Name every shooting. Like... Yeah, bro. Oh, dude, you're a politics streamer, dude. Name every politic. Love I you, couldn't dude. even finish my fucking tweet. Anyway, take care. Open late takes. I was balling. Talking about the Chauvin verdict and conservatives who are big mad about it. Also, another shooting. Another police shooting occurred. During the verdict. That get in now. Push.tv slash Hassanabi. Okay. Imagine sending a Google alert for that shit. You go insane in a week. I do. I do already uh, have Google alerts for that, by the way. Okay. So what we're going to start off with is uh, what we are going. The EDP been a pedo for a while, but now he got caught in 8K by a TV YouTube show that was about pedo catching. Yeah, I don't like the. I don't like the fucking uh, pedo catchers on YouTube. Like some of them are kind of weird. Not kind of weird. They're like that. That community is, is not exactly great. Seven months. Be thanks for the streaks, Hassie. Like, it's just it's super sus, okay? Some of the motherfuckers in that community are super sus. Even other motherfuckers in the community will say. You know what I mean? We'll admit. Pedo catchers are actual pedos trying to divert attention? Yeah, I just I don't know. understand, like... But uh, we are going to start off with the Derek Chauvin trial right now. Yesterday, you already know what happened. <clears throat> the Derek Chauvin trial came to a close yesterday after, you know, a year of, of protests uh, where the first element of the uh, the, the George Floyd murder, uh, the, the main uh, person who engaged in the uh, violent action against George Floyd, Derek Chauvin, was uh, declared guilty on all uh, three counts. And uh, so that was a little bit of justice there, or at least a, a beginning, the beginning stages of potential justice in the future. It was accountability. Like I said or yesterday, it was more so accountability, not justice. And of course, conservatives are predictably very, very, very upset at this. Uh, they are trying to, you know, do that thing that conservatives love doing where you know, they don't want to like directly uh, openly on the timeline be like super fucking racist and just be like, I just straight up am upset, right? I am Tucker Carlson, and I'm very upset that a black man was murdered by a white cop, and he actually got justice. Like, they don't want to say it like that. So uh, they try All to dance counts. around it by being like, well, All it's because counts. there was a lot of All pressure from the public. And um, so that's, that's like kind of what they're trying to do right now. So we'll look at that in a little bit, but let's uh, start first. Biden and Harris addressed the nation last night after the Chauvin guilty verdict. Let's hear what they had to Reacting to the say. news, calling it a step forward, but not enough, urging for this verdict to be one step in a push for reform. Senior White House correspondent Mary Bruce has more on his reaction. Good morning, Mary. 
Good morning, Robin. Well, these were the president's most extensive comments on racial justice since taking office. The president urging Americans not to look WRIT away or think that the work is counts. done now, arguing instead that now is the time to acknowledge and address systemic racism head on. This can be a moment of significant change. This morning, the president Thanks says the a media. guilty verdict is just the start. It's not enough. We can't stop here. We can and we must do more to reduce the likelihood that tragedies like this will ever happen and occur again. Calling systemic racism a stain on our nation's soul, Biden urged Congress to pass the sweeping police reform bill named in George Floyd's honor, legislation introduced by then-Senator Kamala Harris. Here's the truth about racial injustice. It is not just a black America problem or a people of color problem. It is a problem Hey, Hassan, for every how American. The president telling you? Americans to see this moment not as a conclusion, but as a catalyst for change that's long overdue. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Those are George Floyd's last words. We can't let those words die with him. Now, the George Floyd policing bill would create a national misconduct registry. It would ban chokeholds and make it easier to sue abusive officers. But that is a red line for Republicans. This bill is currently at a standstill in the Senate. Amy, almost a year after George Floyd's death in Washington, still has not acted. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks. Okay, um, this is like the the on their end, the stuff that they are pushing for is bare minimum, as we've talked about before, and it's not going to it's not going to change much if we're being real. I'm sorry to say this, guys. Let me rip the bandaid off. Uh, let me just a second. I just I'm still doing fucking promos because I just started. Remember, um, I mean, but also the people that they're matching up against, the people that they're matching up against are the likes of Nancy Pelosi. So when you compare what, uh, you know, Joe Biden said, when you compare what Joe Biden had to say, the top five worst the guilty leftist takes on Derek Chauvin trial. Okay. Yeah. It, we'll, we'll look at this in a second. When you compare it to like what Nancy Pelosi had to say, which was, thank you for being murdered, George Floyd, so we could get like a crumb of police brutality or a crumb of justice, which is fucking terrible. Like, why are you guys saying Pepe Le? What, did he add me into it or something? Or is it TYT? Does he have TYT or AOC? Why would you watch Crowder? Anyway, Republicans don't actually believe in the rule of law since they, don't, since they want to protect qualified immunity. Yeah, of course not. Yeah, uh, Stephen Carter got fucking ratioed into oblivion after Ben Shabibo yesterday. One of your tweets made it onto a Fox News article yesterday. Oh, I know who who uh, did that. You're so wrong on this. Once they sign the law, cops will immediately become anti-racism based. That's why you have to vote blue no matter who. Do better. Yeah. I mean, listen, as I was saying, uh, Raiders had the worst take from yesterday. Oh, no, I know. Oh, I know, dude. This, dude. The fucking owner of the, uh, the Raiders. The owner of the Las Vegas Raiders was the one who... Uh, said that they wanted to tweet this and that they were going to keep it up. I can breathe. It is the quintessential, like, Hey dude, man, love hearing good shit from you. Bro, this is real. This is, this is the, when, when people say like, this is white people shit, like this is what we're talking about. Okay. Performative liberalism is so fucking annoying and it's so bad. I can breathe like motherfucker. Can you really? Are you, you're good. This is it. This is white people shit. This is straight up. Like, The Floyd family defended it. I don't give a fuck what the Floyd family defended, dude. Like, what? What do you think? The Floyd family is the representative of all black people? Like, what are you saying? And like, this shit is so fucking cringe. No oh, they put my tweet. Real white people, real white person wearing kente cloth energy on this quote. Oh, yeah. My child said Ruth Gonda. One and a half years, Pog. Guys, 
the problem is, I mean, Pelosi takes the cake. It is the worst thing. Like, I'm sorry. Here, I wanted to show this to you guys anyway. It, it's literally the worst thing you can fucking put. For sacrificing say. your life for justice. For being there to... I mean, this is like... Like, David Guetta if, if feels embarrassed when he see, hears this, dude. This, this is so bad. Like... You know, shouts off to George his family. Dun, 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 dun. For sacrificing your life for justice. For being there to call out to your mom. How, how heartbreaking wow. was that? Call out for... Thank you, George Floyd, for getting fucking murdered and calling out for your mom. Is honestly... Like, other people were po pointing this out on Twitter, and uh, I, I agree with them. It's like, bro, if Nancy Pelosi was your relative, you wouldn't want her driving a car. Straight up. I'm saying it, dude. If this was my, like, grandmother or some shit, I would be like, ah, I don't know if you should be driving a car, man. I, I seriously, like, listen, grandma, like, I love you. You're great. But, like, let me drive you around. It's fine. I promise. Like, I'll do that. Straight up. I think it was, was it Felix who said that? Was it fucking uh, Chapo Felix? Like, it, it's, it's ridiculous. Like, what are we doing? They, they should not be commandeering vehicles, let alone the country, dude. I mean, her, Diane Feinstein is like straight up gone. Diane Feinstein is gone. Okay. No, not XQC, sure. guys. Fucking Felix Chapo. Felix Biederman. My Felix. Like, you have one job, dog. You have one job. Okay. That is to look normal and to say the right things just to fake it, like fake empathy and say the right things and not say the wrong things. How do you flub this so hard? Richard Wolf is shitting in Destiny cereal on his channel right now. It's embarrassing. It's not good. It's not good. For your mom, I can't breathe. But because of you, and because of thousands, millions of people around the world who came out for justice, your name will always be synonymous with justice. Thank you, George Floyd, for sacrificing your life for justice. For being there to... I, it's just so bad. Below 